If you want to understand the richness of China's ancient civilization, Beijing is a good option. For centuries, people have come here to learn and exchange culture and ideas. And this week, the city is continuing that tradition as thousands gather here for the Conference on Dialogue of Asian Civilizations. The international event is a celebration of Asia as a cradle of ancient civilizations, birthplace of the most widespread religions, melting pot for cultures. Today, the continent is home to two thirds of the world's population and contributes over a third of global GDP. But on a continent with such a diverse range of cultures and languages, is harmonious development possible? Or is a clash of civilizations inevitable? And how will the conference facilitate peace and prosperity across the region? This is Xinhua Special at the CDAC. President Xi Jinping first proposed this conference in 2014, and in his keynote speech at the conference's opening ceremony on Wednesday, he echoed that call for civilizations to respect each other and treat each other as equals, uphold the beauty of each civilization and the diversity of civilizations in the world, stay open and inclusive and draw each other's strengths. He proposed that civilizations should keep reforming and innovating and advancing with the times. There's diversity within cultures. Cultures are specific ways to manage diversity. Now, there is no way that clashes are a modus in which to operate the interaction between cultures, because cultures always have been the result of peaceful interactions. She said that there would be no clash of civilizations as long as people are able to appreciate the beauty of them all. And besides the conference and its parallel forums, a host of cultural events and activities are happening across Beijing and three other Chinese cities, including a parade, a film and TV festival, food festivals and several exhibitions. This exhibition at Tsinghua University's Art Gallery, for example, has artifacts unearthed in Afghanistan that represent the crossroads of the East and West, going back as far as the Bronze Age. This exhibit shows not just the influence of Greek, Persian, Egyptian, Indian, and Chinese civilizations, but also that the depth of interconnectivity across Asia has existed for thousands of years. It's also a reminder that for most of human history, Asia has been a source of wealth and wisdom. It is that our culture, humankind culture, that is the, you can say, is a not requirement, it is our lifestyle. Is a phrase that's been cropping up a lot at this conference is mutual learning. This is not just learning about Asia's rich and diverse history, but also its present, as so many more Asians see their lives and prospects improve. And this is intertwined with China's interconnected, inclusive vision for the future. We to the world. 不同民族、不同文化的交流互鉴，夯实共建亚洲命运共同体、人类命运共同体的人文基础。This vision goes far beyond Asia, from trade and tourism to culture and connectivity. Today's world is more interconnected than ever before, and it will be cooperation, not clashing that will ensure that civilizations of all colors survive and thrive.
See you next time.